Good afternoon and welcome back to the state of Kansas. Hey guys, we are still on our mission to find out who has the best price on lunch. And like I've said before in this video series, this economy's tough, it's rough on everyone. I don't care who you are, if you could save a buck here and there, you're gonna do it. Today, we venture to the land of Wendy's, where the late great Dave Thomas started a fast food icon that has traveled the globe, and we're gonna see if the $7 biggie bag holds up. So with the $7 biggie bag, you get a fries, a French cut fries with the uh, little potato skin on the side. You get a bacon cheeseburger. You get some Nug Nugs, because like we said before in previous videos, Nuggets are life, and a fountain drink of your choosing. So I think we're going to start today with our Nug Nugs. Wendy's has uh, several different options as far as Nuggets are concerned. With the bag, it comes with the traditional Nuggets, not the hot and spicy ones or anything like that. Oh, would you like a barbecue sauce? Yes. There's a barbecue sauce for you, sir. And uh, so far, looking at these, I would say these nuggets are already, just by pure look, miles, and I mean miles above where those god-awful Burger King ones were. So, uh, let's tuck in. Damn good. That is a damn good nugget. Nice, proper white meat chicken with a good barbecue sauce on there. That's not too uh, overpowering. Properly cooked, nice and fluffy on the inside with a nice crunchy outside. I feel very good about that. Okay. So in the interest of expediency, Travis, I'm not really done. If I can only eat that fast. <laughs> We're going to travel next to the land of french fries. And French fries is perfect topping. Mm -hmm. Ketchup! One ketchup for you. One ketchup for me. And let's see what these French fries have in store for us. So far, the best French fries usually are McDonald's. I hate to say it with all all the all the grief we've been giving them about a lot of their price gouging. They still their fries are fire. Depends on the place you go to, though. True. Some McDonald's, if they have a bad manager, their fries can be shit. But we're not at McDonald's today. Today we are at the land of Wendy's, where we have it. Dave's way. And let's see what Dave would have thought about this French fry right here. Perfectly cooked. Mm -hmm. Nicely seasoned. I would give that a solid A. Not an A+, plus, but a solid A. Now before we dive into the land of burgers, we are going to check out, oh yeah, the Frosty he's munching on did not, it was not part of the menu. We were there and let's face it, Frosties are fucking life. Yeah. So uh, sometimes, <coughs> excuse me, when you run into fast food places and they have those um, universal drink machines, like you'll get a pop, you could taste some orange soda with it or some Dr. Pepper or something like that. So let's see, does Wendy's have that problem as well? Uh -huh, I'm strong. That's not a Diet Coke, and I ordered a Diet Coke. Is there, is there not like a straw? No, nope, they only gave us one straw, too. Okay, welcome to that one. I, I don't want it. That's not a Diet Coke. Uh, so, uh, they, they got my drink wrong. They're going to get points off for that. Bastards. Yeah. Okay. So now let's dive into... The main course of our meal, the Wendy's Bacon Cheeseburger. Wendy's is known for their square burgers. Do you know why Wendy's has square burgers? Why? Because they don't cut corners. 
Uh -huh. Especially where people want Diet Coke instead of regular fucking Coke. But hey, <laughs> I must digress. As if any Wendy's burger, they normally have a good amount of uh, veggies. They got some nice crispy onions on there that look nice and fresh. And their bacon is usually top notch. So let's tuck in. Yeah, I'm good. That is a damn good burger. This goes back to the point where I was talking about yesterday on the um, Dairy Queen meal for $7. I feel like we've got a lot less food. Mm -hmm. For $7 here, we've got three distinct meal cho cho three distinct entrees. And if the drink were only correct, damn it, Wendy's, um, I would have been absolutely fine with this. Mm -hmm. Your thoughts? Hmm. My don't have a face full of burger. Yeah, those are really good. I mm, I love these ones. Yeah, I'd eat these any day. Just next time I'm going to try my drink before we leave the drive-thru. Yeah. That just wrinkles my ass, dude. I'm like, come on. There's a distinct difference between Coke and Diet Coke. One has a red logo. One is a silver logo. Mm. I dry, that 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 really just barbecues my ass. Aside from that, though, really creams your corn. Huh? It really creams my corn. It really, really does. So, I would definitely give this a recommendation over uh, the Burger King, definitely, and over the Dairy Queen. So far, the top two we visited are the McDonald's five dollar bag and uh, this one. I feel uh, extremely good about my money spent and uh, return on investment. Mm -hmm. And we'll do that again. And guys, if you know of a particular deal that's at a national chain and you'd like an honest, unfiltered review, please feel free to uh, tag us in it and uh, we're going to go check it out. Now, this day and age of social media, you know, let's uh, share some information and um, take the load off everybody's wallet. So, as always, good afternoon. Good evening and uh, happy lunching. Subscribe for more.